Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich, and we have a Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the CEO of Vox Royalty Corp, Kyle Floyd. How are you doing today, Kyle? Rich, fantastic. Thanks for having me on. Always a pleasure. And let's get right into it with the big breaking news. First of all, congratulations on record revenue and your breaking news, a huge acquisition. I want you to go through that with us and also big breaking news on revenue guidance for 2022. So let's get started. Tell us a little bit about all this big news. Absolutely, pretty big press release for us, Rich, to be honest. Um, first and foremost, we're announcing a, a really significant transaction for Vox Royalty Corp. This is a royalty over the producing Wanmuna mine in Western Australia. Uh, it's a terrific iron ore operation that's expanding rapidly. It's permitted uh, to go from 5 million tons per annum to 10 million tons per annum. We believe we're acquiring this right at that swing in terms of a, a pretty material increase on its production rate and therefore the revenue that's attributable to Vox. This is producing revenue right now for us. So this is not kind of a wait and see transaction. This is right now, right here, um, a pretty big shift in the revenue paradigm for Vox Royalty Corp. And really sets what I think is um, you know, the, the ability for the company to be pretty dynamic in terms of what it does going forward. We've obviously talked a little bit about the NASDAQ listing that we're expecting this summer um, and continue to be on track to deliver that. And then this is in, 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 at the same time also uh, serving to increase um, our revenue expectations. And as you touched on, we've, uh, we've given initial guidance of 10 to $12 million top line Canadian in revenue for 2022. Putting that in perspective, that's over 2X what we realized in revenue for 2021, which was a huge increase over what we had from 2020. So we continue, uh, I believe, to execute the business at a very high level. This Juan Muna royalty acquisition is going to further really turbocharge what we're doing, I believe, better than anybody else in the industry, which is finding great royalties at very, very good value for, for our shareholders. So... Let me just try to get into your head a little bit. When you look at these acquisitions, how long does it take for these deals to get done? Because this is a big deal. So is this something you guys have been working on for a while? Is this something that just kind of happened? Kind of break down you know, how this deal got done, if you don't mind. To be honest with you, th this deal starts you know, essentially 10 years ago. Wow. Uh, when we were com compiling the royalty database and our ability to find royalties that others are just not aware of. Um, this looks and, and feels a lot like most things that we do, which is you know, generally um, you know, a very uncompetitive process. Uh, in fact, it was not competitive uh, and allowing us to, to find really deep value. This is one of those royalties that most won't know about and allows us to transact uh, with a counterparty. And the format of this or the structure of this transaction was very heavily equity weighted. Um, the group that we're buying the royalty from wanted Vox stock. They saw the upside in our business model and our execution thereof. Um, and so, you know, it, it really is a testament to what we built over the last decade, allowing us to be in position to execute on royalties such as this. And you guys have just announced record revenue. What do you attribute your record revenue to? You guys are on an amazing trajectory. What do you attribute that all to? You know, what we've done, Rich, in building this company is we're, we're a very value and returns focused business. I would say that's dissimilar to most of the comps and peers in the royalty marketplace. They're paying whatever it takes to get the deals that they find, and they're not finding many deals. And so they're waiting for bankers to show them opportunities, and they're paying top dollar uh, to buy those assets. Our business model has been set up for almost the better part of a decade now, where we're getting into these uncompetitive situations and we're finding really good royalties with our technical team. We've touched on this before. It's our technical team finding assets that are a couple of years out from production. Usually that's you know, kind of our bread and butter. And we've been able to do that very successfully, finding assets at great value a couple of years out from production. And then on the strength of what we perceived and what we were accurate in, those assets are performing really, really well. And that's that organic growth of royalties already in our portfolio now that are driving the abundance of our revenue growth profile uh, and very successfully so. So it's 
It's that ability kind of connecting all the dots uh, within our, our business capacity, finding good royalties, having a very good technical team, uh, and then the capacity to, to execute and bring these into the portfolio. Uh, I think we're doing that better than anyone in the industry. Now, you've also in your press release announced the revenue outlook for the remainder of 2022. Can you touch a little bit on that? Yeah, really exciting. This is, is pure leading revenue growth in, in all respects. Uh, we're doing it with less capital deployed than anybody else in the industry. So that return on invested capital metric, you will not hear another royalty company talk about that metric because, frankly, they don't look very good. In Vox's case, speaking about our business model and how we go about finding value, and we just touched on, is that ability to continue finding really deep value in the royalty sector on great assets and having those crystallize in terms of the value that they're producing on, in terms of revenue for our shareholders is so significant. And we're doing that consistently, repeatedly on a systematic basis. And, and I believe that's why you should be buying a stock or a company is that they have a systematic advantage that they can repeatedly execute uh, and they validated their ability to do so. And I think that's what Box continues to demonstrate to the market. If there was one thing that you would want investors to know today, what would it be? You know, we touched on this point a little bit, but a company like Vox that right now has very, very significant medium term and also long term revenue growth, that positions you as an investor to really win with our business model because we're not exposed to the inflationary pressures. The, the rise in cost inputs that are afflicting mining companies are not afflicting Vox. And you're seeing that play out within our financials. You're going to continue to see that play out within our business. So you're getting the benefit of a, of a very good backdrop for commodities right now without those inflationary risks. I don't think the market understands that by and large. I don't think investors in the sector are really understanding what's going to happen in, in for the mining companies experiencing these much higher input costs because of the inflationary pressures and, and not really understanding how royalty companies like Vox and specifically a company like Vox that has this short, medium and long-term growth profile to its business uh, we're very much in a good position to, to see, I would call it alpha in the royalty sector for our investors. Well, congratulations on record revenue. Congratulations on the acquisition. Congratulations on the revenue outlook for 2022. We are here with Kyle Floyd, the CEO of Vox Royalty Corp. The symbol in Canada is VOX. The symbol in America is VOXCF. I think everybody should be putting this company on their radar and on their watch list. We are in an economic situation right now in the world where everyone is looking for value. And this is a company that I would say is a very valuable company that is a value stock that everybody should have on their radar and everybody should have on their watch list. Thank you for joining us today, Kyle. And we hope to see you again soon. It's been my pleasure. Thank you, Rich. Now, I must remind everyone that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, we've been a big fan of Vox Royalty Corp since day one. We believe that this continues to prove based on the news that this is a company that is growing in very tough economic global conditions. This is a company that continues to grow and continues to show strength. So I believe everyone needs to put them on their radar and put them on their watch list. Thank you guys for watching. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring you the winners just like Vox Royalty Corp and we bring them to you first. And thank you for joining us today, Kyle. And we hope to see you again soon, my friend.